Here we are working on our second problem in pressure forces moments on submerged horizontally symmetric plates. Problem, determine the force and center of pressure on the gate. And we have water level here, a depth. Here's the gate on its edge view. Here's the gate on its front view. Now, previously we had the isosceles triangle upside down. To add a little bit more interest to it, we have inverted it. And as before, let's put in dimensional lines so we're clear what is L and W. So we have D equal to 6, W equal to 2, L equal to 3, and we have water. And as we can see, the angle of the gate with the surface of the water is 90 degrees. Now again, we want to start solving this problem using the integral form for the force on the gate. So remember what we did was, was we drew our gate a little bit bigger so that we could see what pieces here along here. A is obviously the triangle, both the area and the shape triangle itself. And then we have P, DA. Well, since it's atmospheric pressure here and atmospheric pressure here, again, we're using this formula right here. So rho GH. And remember that, that if we have a depth, we don't really want to use H. We really want to use a variable that starts here at the top of the plate, which we called eta. So let's put H and eta in. So H is the depth from the surface of the liquid, and eta is the depth from the top of the plate. And remember that they're related by the formula that H equals D plus eta. So D plus eta gives me H. So in place of this H here, I will write D plus eta. DA, let's draw in our little DA. Now, I'd like to point out, it doesn't matter at what horizontal level we draw our sample strip. It only matters that it's a strip because it's a horizontally symmetric plate. This was a convenient place to draw DA so that it doesn't crowd up my drawing. The height of DA, D eta, and our width is W eta. Remember that the width here depends on eta. Now remember that we don't want W eta because that would be a new variable. We only want eta and things we know like W, L, and D. So can we find W eta? And the answer is yes. Now the bottom part of this triangle is similar to the whole triangle. And remember that because we want to substitute for W eta, W eta is the first thing we write down. So W eta, now we need this height here. This height here is L minus eta. L minus eta. And that's equal to W divided by L. And if we solve this for W eta, we will get W eta equals W over L times L minus eta. So we've got everything in terms of eta. We just need to do our work. First thing, rho times g. Rho times g is rho water times g here because we have water. Rho water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. G is 9.81 meters per second squared. So, so this gives us 9,810 newtons per meter cubed. And we will hold on to that. DA. DA is equal to D eta. D eta is the height times W eta is the width. So we have D eta times this. W over L times L minus eta. So now, how much is our resultant force? FR is equal to rho g times w over l can come up front w over l here's our integral don't forget that h is d plus eta so d plus eta this is this h here and now da is l minus eta times d eta so l minus eta times d eta and now that we have our variable integration, we look at eta, and eta goes from zero to L. 
from 0 to L. So this is our integral. We simply need to substitute our values and calculate. So we have FR equals rho times G. We'll put that in in the end. W over L, so 2 over 3. And then our integral is from 0 to L, so from 0 to 3. And then we have 6 for D plus eta, 3 minus eta, D eta. And so we have rho G times 2 thirds. Here inside our integral, 0 to 3, we have 18 minus this is minus 6 plus 3, so minus 3 eta minus eta squared d eta. Rho g times 2 thirds. This is a straightforward integral. 18 eta minus 3 eta squared over 2 minus eta cubed over 3 from 0 to 3 rho g times two thirds and we have 18 times 3 minus 3 cubed over 2 minus 3 cubed over 3 and that's rho g times 21 and now 21 times 9810 is 206,000 and 10 newtons. So that gives us our first answer. Let's check that using the centroid formula. So here's our centroid formula. So we need to know HC and A. Now remember HC is the depth of the centroid. Now this is actually the reason I don't like these formulas. You have to remember where the centroid is. The centroid of an isosceles triangle is one third of the way down from the base. If the base was down here, it would be down here. Here it's this place. So it's one third of L plus D. So HC equals D plus one third L. So that's equal to six plus one third of three, which is equal to seven meters. How much is A? A is the width times the height divided by 2. So W L divided by 2. So 2 times 3 divided by 2 equals 3 meter squared. And just looking here, we see we have 7 times 3, which is our 21. So we're good to go. That's the correct answer. 206,010 newtons is our resultant force. You can see that this is much easier, but you have to be so careful using the formula and you have to know the formula for the centroid. So now we're down to calculating the center of pressure. Now we do have a D, D is six meters. The minute we have a D and we're working with eta, so we're going to be using this integral form. So HP equals D plus this. So we have HP equals D plus this. This is very similar looking to this, except that there's one over FR in the front, and there's another eta inside the integral. Now, we use this for that, so we need one over FR in the front of this, and another eta in the integral here. So one over FR times rho G times W over L times the integral from zero to L. And now before we write this, we put in our extra eta. Eta times D plus eta. Remember that's this H here. And then this is our width from DA. L minus eta D eta. Now, what do we know from here? We know that this is six, that's the depth. We know that rho g over fr is this, one over 21. Rho g divided by fr, one over 21. 
If you get a big number for HP, remember HP has to be between HC and the total depth, which here is 6 plus 3, 9. So HP has to be between 7 and 9. If you get too big a number, it's always, I've forgotten to invert this. So it's 1 over 21. W over L is 2 thirds. And now this integral is a straightforward integral. What happens is you get the same numbers here, but an extra eta everywhere. So when you integrate, you get eta squared over two, eta cubed over three, eta to the fourth over four, from zero to three. And you should get a value of 33.75. So this is equal to six plus 1.07, or is 7.07 7 meters. Notice that that's not very much deeper than the centroid itself. So if this is the centroid, our center of pressure is actually very close to the centroid. And we have HC here and HP. So finally, our resultant force is 206,010 newtons and our depth to the center of pressure is 7.07 .07 meters. And that, as they say, is that.